I tried to recreate a professional Roblox editor's Roblox edit, but there's a twist. Hello everyone, it's Remini. Welcome back to my channel. Today I tried to but I'm a noob and there's a twist. I can't use After Effects, CapCut, or any other f stuff that Roblox editors use. I have to use Movavi Video Editor. Now, you might be like, Smimini, what, what, what kind of twist is that? That's so lame. Well, actually, it's not. It means that I cannot follow any tutorial on anything and everything will have to be creative and I'll come up with everything in a unique way. So this is going to be a really tough challenge. Let me pretend I care. Ah, uh, help me. Anyway. Oh, I just I just became invisible. Okay, um now I'm going to create this Roblox edit right here by Jenny 12. I'm pretty sure that's how to say it. So yeah, it's such a cool edit. I'm gonna pick this part right over here uh, to do it. So yeah, I think I'll film now. So see you guys after the filming. Okay, so this is the raw footage. I know it does not look um, very flattering, but trust me, it's gonna look better. Now, step two, editing the edit. But before the editing, I needed to make the zombie face. Now, as you guys know, the face that I wear in my videos, it's drawn by me. Uh, so I had to create a zombie face that I would transition into. In Jenny Child's video, there was no transition in her avatar. But I really wanted to transition in my avatar. So I created a zombie face. Okay, so this is the twist part. I'm using Movavi Video Editor which is used to edit normal videos, not Roblox edits or something very fancy. So I use this for my videos generally and um, Moavi is a great video um, editor for my sort of videos. But a Roblox edit, I mean technically you can do a very good one with it and uh, I'll tell you later how I did everything but um, you need to get really creative uh, for your edit to turn out good. So, basically how I did the smooth transition between the normal me and the zombie me was I filmed the two clips, imported, imported them in Movavi, and then I overlaid them on top of each other, and I turned down the opacity of the above clip the zombie clip and I try to match it up with the normal clip and then uh, when it looked perfectly smooth I put it back down to the original level and then I added all of the effects but this part in the edit okay so this effect is not in my editor so I headed over to my drawing software and I imported this clip I duplicated it I took the uh, background and erased it on the first one, but it still stayed in the duplicated one, so I could add the white highlight behind my character. And then I um, selected parts and extend them, stretched them out, and made an animation. So it looks glitchy. The creativity is a level 100. But then, it thankfully, I think it worked out pretty good, and I... It's not like literally duplicating Jenny 12's edit. I added some of my own bits too, like the black and white in the front and a little, let's just say, creepiness. <laughs> okay, we're done. Here's my edit in three, two, one. How'd you guys like it? I think I'm so cool. And for my first ever Roblox edit, I think it's really cool too. I mean, technically it's not my first edit, but my first edit was in Royale High, and um, I didn't use any of the, it's, it's not a normal edit, you know, but this is like a, my first ever normal like Roblox edit. 
So I think it turned out pretty cool. And here's the comparison, the original and mine. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool to be honest. And um, let me know how you guys like it in the comments if it's working. If it's not working, <laughs> why? Like. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed the amount of creativity that was in this video and you want it for your own, make sure you like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for subscribing. It really means a lot. And I am going to see you guys in my next video. Bye!